Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've been promising you a real world test on this little cheap iSun Energy uh, 20 amp MPPT charge controller. Well, I've got it hooked up to 200 watts worth of solar right now. I've got an incoming meter, an outgoing meter, so you can measure the real world efficiency. Because last time I tested this, I used a DC power supply for consistency, but then we'll do a real world test on it. So I've got 200 watts of PV on this, two 100 watt five bus bar panels hooked up to the controller. So let's see what we got real world conditions. 149, 150 coming in, 140, 141 going into the batteries. Let's see what we got, 10.2 amps there, 10.4, it's changing. It takes a second for the screen to refresh. It rolls through 10.5, 10.7. So, you know, we're within 0.2 of a volt accuracy between three different instruments. Real world testing, so let's check it again and I'll get you a percentage wise. 150, 143, 144, 151. I'm trying to get you all in one shot right there. 150 and 140. So let me get your percentage. So one, another reading, 144, 145, 136, 137. So the readings on the board, uh, this is the one I showed you a second ago, 94% real world efficiency and then it's been more consistent right around these numbers due to the sun and the clouds. So 145 in from the PV, 137 into the battery. So 94.48% efficient. And now that's, we got losses right here through this little energy meter. And we have losses right here through this energy meter. These act like DC chokes due to the electronics in here. So with that efficiency, considering going through both of these meters in this controller, and it is 93 degrees right here where this controller is at, so I've got a different controller here with a display showing a temperature. So not too bad considering, you know, high temperatures and the chokes from the, the little meters right there. So cheap charge controller with almost 95% efficiency. That is not bad at all considering the price. Now I'll tell you another controller too. Y'all you know, knock this one for not having the factory lithium settings and things like that. This battery of power 40 amp. I've been using it on some lead acid batteries and this one's been quite surprising. I've got some measurements off of it because I've been using these meters, you know, playing around since I've got some sun, seeing different measurements. This one's pretty efficient too. Uh, for lead acid, you know, if you want apps and stuff, they got the lithium sentence if you use the app, but for, you know, for lead acid right out of the box, it works great for that. So I'll give you some readings off of this one too. Well, I tried to get your reading off the battery of power. 36 volt lead acid battery bank. I did capture some, some readings while it was under full sun earlier today. So the battery of power, uh, 40 amp charge controller on a 400 watt array, 80 volts open circuit. The best I got today was 383 watts from the PV and it was dumping 362 watts to the battery bank. And that's a 36 volt uh, lead acid bank under bulk charge. 94.5% efficient through the battery of power controller. Uh, not bad. This one's a little more expensive, but it can take higher voltages. It can do 12, 24, 36, 48. I've been using this on the 36 volt lead acid bank quite a bit in low light conditions. It's working good. You know, I, I grabbed about the app, but I have to say the lead acid charge profile on this is pretty good. It's bulk, absorb, float, everything works great for lead acids. So, you know, I can say that works good on lead acid. And for the price, that one right there, that one just keeps impressing me. Even in low light conditions, it can just drag power out of the sky just amazing under under cloudy conditions too so in comes a thunderstorm that's been my story for the last two or three weeks every time i get get a peak sun here comes thunderstorms or clouds or rain or whatever messes up uh, my readings my filming so i tried to get you the best i could get today and one more shot on the ice energy right before this thunderstorm gets here 5.6 watts in 3.2 watts going in under completely obscured skies on old 200 watt array. Yeah, it's not bad. So just two different controller options. I've got more charge controller options. Things coming up in the next few days, different charging options for lead batteries, lithium batteries, all that good stuff. So I'll give you some updates on some products I'm actually using. None of this stuff sits in a box. Anything you've seen on any of my videos gets used, sometimes abused, sometimes pushed past its limits. Uh, I like to test these products several weeks before I even bring you to them and then do long-term tests on them too to keep you updated on everything. But like I said, this one's great for lithium. Been using on lithium. 
uh, a lot of different panels done that jgn with it using portable panels and everything on this one right here for the price i think that one's really hard to beat i have links to the original videos for both of these in the description in case you missed all the details on them hope you all enjoyed today just a quick video i got thunderstorms coming so uh time to bat down the hatches y'all have a nice day be safe y'all take care